introduced at Bay Medical Sacred Hearts. That surgery uses robotic technology without opening up the patient's chest. News 13's Jessica Foster has more in tonight's Modern Medicine Report. We were first introduced to this technology in December of last year when Dr. Lynn Sito held a news conference. What this means for the patients is that they have much less pain after the operation. They have less risk of, of requiring a blood transfusion. They go home quicker. And most importantly, they, they're able to get back to their life quicker. Now, for the first time, we talk to a patient who's gone through robotic heart surgery. According to the doctor, if I continued on the way I was, um, wouldn't have done it, just would have fallen over. <laughs> Gary Dabbs was diagnosed with a prolapsed microvalve, requiring heart surgery. Dr. Lynn Sido used robotic technology to repair the valve. Like anybody, I mean, who wants to be stuck in the hospital? I want to be out as fast as they would let me go. The robotic procedure is much less invasive than traditional open heart surgery. Instead of a large incision opening up the chest, Dr. Sido makes three to four small incisions and then uses the robot to make the repair. It gives you incredible magnification. You can see in three dimensional, so it's, it's not like you're looking at a flat picture. Dr. Sito says the procedure can cut down on the hospital stay by about one or two days and makes recovery after leaving the hospital a lot easier as well. After that, it was two weeks and I was driving my truck again, so I was pretty pleased. Bay Medical Sacred Heart is one of the few facilities to offer this procedure in the southeast. They say the closest one is Birmingham, Alabama.